Hi everyone, welcome back. How are you today? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video. This is my first unboxing video because many of you have requested for one. So over the weekend, I bought a new handbag and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So let's get started. Over the years, I've collected many handbags, namely MS handbag, which are my favorite because of the investment value that I believe in. I've also got a collection of Chanel's and some other brands, but not too many of them. I prefer to stick to the classic in different colors. And so far, I feel that the handbag that is most user-friendly to me would be the Birkin or the Kelly. So when I buy a handbag, I tend to focus on the quality and how it's going to be versatile for me. I take note of the stitchings, the colors, whether the colors are going to be good for versatility with my wardrobe, my clothing choices and the design of it, if I could go casual or is it just going to be a strictly evening bag for me so i always would have in mind all these criteria before i invest my money in a handbag so without further ado let's start with the unboxing Even though I already know what this handbag is, but it still always makes me excited and so elated to show it for the first time. And in my favorite shade, which I've waited a couple of years because when the Rose Sakura color first came out, I missed it. And just recently reintroduced this color during the Sakura season. And there she is in all her glorious pinkness a swift leather which is a smooth leather i usually don't really like the swift leather because it is really soft and does not keep its shape especially in a birkin and if you put too many things it tends to get out of shape quite easily but in the rose sakura the swift leather brings out the best in the color so these handbags come with their own ring coat i usually keep my receipts in a file instead of putting it together with the handbags and I like to protect all the booklets that comes with the handbag in a plastic ziplock in that way I know that I'm not going to end up with some really dirty looking since I'll be moving them in and out of the boxes so the first thing I do is to remove the protective mitten and I am going to remove the plastic on the hardware because the weather is humid and I don't like the plastic to leave all this stickiness around my hardware so I like to have them all removed. Oh, how do you like how my nails completely matches with the handbag as well? Such a coincidence that things always happen. So here she is. Welcome to my closet, Miss Rose Sakura. I'm going to find you a spot to live in in a bit. To keep the shape of the handbags, I usually put stuffings like this into them before I store them back into my display cabinet. This is the closet with a lock. And I'm going to show you how I usually hang the closet on the handbag. I like to hang it on the left side, just a personal preference. And the way I do it is to put the lock in between. Some of you may like to do this, but I feel that as time goes on, this might break. So I do it this way instead and then I lock it and there, this is how I hang my closet. I love the smell of new handbags 
and you know you can actually tell the authenticity of an MS handbag just by smelling it. So inside this handbag, there is this pouch that I usually put my mobile phone in there. It has a zipper. This is where I would stow my raincoat. Every one of my handbags would have a rain protector in that compartment just in case the weatherman decides to rain. So I will put one of these into the zipper compartment in every of my handbags. I'd like to show you guys the new series of handbags have got the blind stem in the inside of the bag at the side here. It shows that it is a D stamp with the serial number and the Crossman number. The older handbags, however, would be on the strap right here and the newer ones would be right here. to use little handbags rather than the huge ones. I feel that the larger ones are quite heavy for me, especially when I need to hold them for long hours. Right now, the challenge is to find Miss Sakura a home to live in. I think she'll look perfect here in place of the B25. And then I will have to find another spot for the silver B25. We have three different shades of pink right here. I have the Rose Azali in Kelly 25. I have the Rose Purple in the Kelly 25. And the newcomer is Miss Rose Sakura in Birkin 25. Perfect! I don't know where to put you. I can't put him here because he looks great like that. I think I need to make some space here. I don't know how am I going to do it. Let me try. I feel kind of bad that he has to go somewhere else. Although, he's one of my favorite bags. I use him a lot. Please don't be sad. At least you're with all the pretty colors. I think he looks pretty good there. Now let's take a look at some of my pink handbags that I've collected throughout the years. Besides Rose Sakura, my favorite one has got to be this bubblegum pink. She has got matte palladium hardware and a bicolor with the grease clear for the piping and the stitching. She is a Birkin 30 and the interior of the bubblegum pink color has also got a different color lining. It is in Grease Claire that matches the stitching and the piping of the handbag. And I've also got this Rose Tyrion color which I did a special stitching in Mykonos and the interior is also in a Mykonos blue. And the leather is Epson, which is my preferred choice for Birkin and Kelly's. I love the Epson leather because it really keeps the shape of the handbag for a very, very long time. So I love my pink collection is this Kelly 35. It's a little bit big, but I used to really like big bags because I think that they look really stylish. I could wear it like that. And this, this is in a bubblegum pink as well. The same shade as the previous Birkin that I showed you, but in a Togo leather. This one is in a crocodile. And I have another shiny croc. It was pinkier when I first got it. This is a very old handbag and in a porosis crocodile leather. It used to be more pink, but I think that, you know, as the years go by, she started de developing an orange tint somehow. I don't know if it's jaundice. And I would like to show you what Boyard has done for me recently. So this is my first Boyard and she has Jamie with Jamie in a Vogue in Vogue which is a novel idea. I love what she has created for me and such likeness. Doesn't that look like me? That's me blowing a bubble gum in pink. And her latest creation for me is Jamie in her pink jungle. Boyard and I think so alike is 
it's crazy i didn't even have to tell her what i wanted and she came up with this like-minded scorpios in order to be irreplaceable one must always be different now let's look at the side you can't get more personalized than this and it's going to be always a conversation piece to use a handbag like this how amazing i think the plush should go on the other side just for this bag because the caption is here i will show you guys more pink handbags i don't know if i've covered it all but this would be the last of what i'm doing today i don't want my video to be too long in case you guys stop watching me so this is a rose tyran yeah i think so you know what? sometimes you have so many that you forget the names of the colors i always have that problem so this is a uh Kelly um my god I have a mind block right now cut this is a Kelly cut I got my memory back this is a Kelly cut in a rose Tyrion color this is a pink in lizard it used to be more pink the bubblegum pink but I guess um John this hit her as well a little bit so now she's a little bit more of a peachy pink and of course I have the mini pink handbags here Fuchsia B30 Rose Shahrazad B30 testing my memory I've got a Magnolia here Magnolia and the Rose Purple is but they are both kind of similar just like a few shades apart so this is more pink this is a little bit more purple and I have a mini Kali in Rose Shahrazad as well so hard to pronounce these French names and she's one of my favorites as well she looks more like a piece of jewelry because she's so tiny and so precious so exotic I would so hate to scratch her ever so most of my bags you know I just use them and have fun using them instead of worrying if you're going to put the first scratch on it it's like getting a new car you know you never really enjoy the car until you put that first scratch on the car so likewise with handbags just have fun enjoy most of us aren't perfect so if my handbags are not perfect that's just the way life is and every scratch has their own story like oh my god where did i get this scratch so yes i was walking past this place and then i just go Shh. that first scratch oh my heart my money and my heart forget it okay just forget about it you can be upset with it for at next one week and if you're still brooding over it after one week you're just too free you have nothing else better to do you need to get a life and next up and last because i'm tired standing on these heels this mini mini so mini i've never actually used it except for decorating my handbags it's so mini i don't think even my phone fits in there so what i do with this mini not so useful little handbag is i sometimes like to just use it as a decoration but these days when you use them as decoration you don't want to be losing them if you don't tie them properly around your handbag and then you may realize that oh, it's gone and you regret for the rest of your life this i promise it won't be a one week thing you will regret for the rest of your life usually i will turn it doubly and all that you really don't want that to happen it will be sacrilegious so that and then look oh, yeah i'm tired i have to sit down so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you like my video please give me some love by clicking like till next week let's all think pink with good vibes only and oh yeah it's a wrap let's put all of you back always put yourself back in the right position like a good little girl Bye, ciao! See you next week!